In modern day, it is easy to boost a CPU's performance with just a few simple tweaks to the BIOS settings. However, it is pretty much impossible to overclock older systems without some sort of physical modification to the hardware. So hardcore modders discover that it is possible to boost a Socket 775 CPU's performance with just a bit of time and patience. But does covering two pads really boost your performance, or is this all information that is just too good to be true? We set out to find the answer using a Dell Inspiron 560 equipped with a Core 2 Duo E7500 as our test subject. Before we could start doing anything to the computer, we established some base numbers. The benchmark of choice this time was Cinebench, which we got a very unimpressive score of 139 on, by the way. Next, we tested Team Fortress 2. Honestly, we expected this to run way better than it did, but once again, it was not impressive in the slightest since it averaged only a measly 7 frames per second. Not to mention, there was a ton of input lag and rubber banding. At this point, we gave on the up on the games and threw a synthetic load onto the CPU, hoping that the temperature wouldn't even be as atrocious as the performance that we were seeing. And honestly, the temps weren't that bad. Even under full load, the CPU's two cores both stayed at around 60 degrees at all times. At this point, we had enough of the poor performance, wishing the mod would just deliver its promises. We took off the heatsink and quickly realized that we were going to need some precision tools to cover the two pads. Two pieces of electrical tape were then put on the two pads, and the CPU went right back into the socket for further testing. Which, of course, we were not able to do. The PC kept crashing before any tests were able to be finished due to instability. We didn't. We even tried a stronger power supply, hoping it would fix power delivery, but it did not. We concluded that the motherboard was not able to sustain the proper power that the CPU demanded that it to run. So in conclusion, the tape mod may be worth it for some who cannot afford to buy another CPU for their system, should they be using an LGA 775 CPU in 2017. However, this may introduce instabilities into the system. The best bet would just to be getting a motherboard that would legitimately allow you to overclock the CPU without having to put tape on it. That being said, try this at your own risk since it could result in the same things happening to your system. Good news is, it's easily reversible if the system becomes unstable, considering you literally have to just, just remove tape. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this rather disappointing video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this type of video, and I'm out. I'll see you Thank you guys for sticking around until the end of the video, and also big thank you to my friend Natasha for helping me record the voiceover used in this video. Thank you for watching, and I'm out. I'll see you next time.